Wow. So users actually already replied with names and addresses of Harris supporters. I have a breaking news story that may change the way you and I approach this upcoming election. This article reads, Ohio Sheriff tells residents to quote, write down the addresses of Harris Walls supporters in their county. And I want to use this video to highlight the effect that Donald Trump's apocalyptic inflammatory rhetoric has on otherwise normal American citizens. See, Donald Trump's bombastic rhetoric over the last 10 years has radicalized many Americans who are already somewhat impressionable and who were looking for some sort of outlet for their anxiety that exists in other places. And this Ohio sheriff has obviously been radicalized to a point where he is an extremist. He wants to hurt his fellow American citizens. It reminds me of that scene in the movie Civil War where Jesse Plemons rubs his face and he's like, what kind of American are you exactly? And this is all the direct result of rhetoric coming from Donald Trump. We can draw the direct line to Sheriff Bruce Zukowski urging residents in an Ohio County to report neighbors with Harris Walls signs. Let me just reiterate this. The sheriff, the one who is supposed to uphold rule of law and law and order, the one who you would come to if a Trump supporter was targeting you, told the residents, urged the residents of this Ohio County to report neighbors, to write down their addresses if they have a Harris Walls sign. And we here have the exclusive Facebook post where he says this. The Facebook post is still up and still live. An Ohio sheriff told people to write down the addresses of anybody who supports Democratic nominee Kamala Harris, sparking fear and division among residents in Portage County, located 30 miles south of Cleveland, Ohio. And if we just take a step back, my broader point in this video is exactly this. Donald Trump sows division in so many small towns, especially small Ohio counties lately. He is making sure the citizens in this county are divided based on their political affiliation. The citizens in Springfield are divided based on their skin color now, based on other things, when right now these towns need more than ever to just unite. The remarks that I'm about to read come in stark contrast to the more liberal sheriff in Dayton, Ohio. He said, this town needs to come together. Yeah, there are problems when many new people come and begin to integrate, but these problems can be solved if we all just come together and the rhetoric of certain politicians, we know what politicians he's talking about, are dividing this county. You compare that statement from the sheriff of Dayton, Ohio to this sheriff, and it just seems so, so different. Before we jump into this post on Facebook, I want to show you how we got here. This is a post from Donald Trump today that he posted about five hours ago, and in this post, he accuses Democrats of being the inflammatory ones. He says that Democrats caused the assassination attempt on him yesterday, but let me prove using this post that Trump is the inflammatory one. We did this exercise earlier, but I want to expand that a little bit because I think it's very powerful and very fun. So in this post, Donald Trump says, the rhetoric lies as exemplified by the false statements made by comrade Kamala Harris Harris during the rigged and highly partisan ABC debate, all in these ridiculous lawsuits specifically designed to inflict damage on Joe and Kamala's opponent, me, has taken our politics to a whole new level. Because of the communist left rhetoric, the bullets are flying. So he's saying the bullets are flying because of us. So let's look at all of the inflammatory pieces of Donald Trump's statement right here. In the first line, he accuses Kamala of being a liar by saying false statements. In the first line, he calls her Comrade Kamala Harris and accuses her of being a communist. He then undermines the trust in the media, attacks the media by saying rigged and highly partisan ABC debate. Did McCain attack the media like that? No, because he was a normal American. He then says ridiculous lawsuits, which undermines our justice system. That is inflammatory, inherently. He then says specifically designed to inflict damage, again, undermining our systems and making it seem like he's the target. He then says on Joe's, then Kamala's, he can't even say President Biden or President Joe Biden or VP Kamala. He's being inflammatory there. He then says, political opponent, me, has taken politics in our country to a whole new level of hatred, abuse, and distrust. Again, making himself seem like the victim. That is inflammatory. He then says, communist left rhetoric. He is calling everybody on the left communist. That is inflammatory. He said, the bullets are flying. That is inflammatory. He's saying the U.S. is like a war zone, essentially, allowing millions of people from places unknown to invade our country. That is inflammatory. Then this entire latter half 
looks incredibly divisive. It's all in caps, and he says, terrorists, criminals, mentally insane, need to be immediately removed. You guys understand why I'm going to highlight all of this. He says, deported back to their countries of origin, or sorry, this says counties of origin. What do you mean counties of origin? Do you mean these Ohio counties that you're sowing division in? On Friday, Portage County Sheriff Bruce Zukowski posted the threatening message on both his public and private Facebook accounts. And here we go. Let's skip over to this public Facebook account. It's somehow still here. Sheriff Bruce D. Zukowski on September 13th at 8.42 p.m. said, when people ask me what's going to happen if the flip-flopping laughing hyena wins. That's pretty misogynistic language, and I don't say that lightly. I don't say that often. I say, says Sheriff Bruce Zukowski, write down all of the addresses of people who had her signs in their yards. So when the illegal human locusts, which she supports, need places to live, will already have the addresses of their new families who support their arrival. This sheriff is using inflammatory language, and how do you think the sheriff would react if he had a run-in with somebody who was an immigrant, or just a run-in with somebody who he thought looked like an immigrant, somebody with brown skin? This man would lose their mind, and this shows how people get into positions of power who don't deserve it. Back to this article, Jesse Plemons. Back to this article. The posts have been shared over 200 times and have amassed chaos in the comment section, which Zukowski has now limited without removing the post. And this Ohio County now has people working. Again, Trump's rhetoric makes people extreme, and those extremists divide real towns in Ohio. It's not the first time Zukowski has been involved in a controversy since he took office three years ago. In 2021, the same sheriff criticized Cleveland's Major League Baseball team for changing its name from Indians to the Guardians, a move long advocated for by Native American groups. Honestly, who cares? Who cares about this stuff? The Portage County NAACP also accused Zukowski's department of disproportionately targeting minority drivers. I mean, this goes back to what I just said. What do you think Zukowski does if he sees somebody who he deems is a, an immigrant or a criminal, just somebody with brown skin in Zukowski's eyes, he will treat them unfairly. Residents in Portage County were, quote, surprised and fearful, that is not surprising, after Zukowski's latest post, the Portager reported. Before he limited the comments, users had replied with the names and addresses of Portage County residents. Wow! So users actually already replied with names and addresses of Harris supporters. Quote, I have a sign in my yard, one frightened resident told the Portager. Quote, our sheriff is asking MAGA to write down our addresses. This is not normal and it is scary. Let me say, I put Biden signs in my yard. We did that in 2020. We haven't yet done it in 2020. 24, but we did in 2020. And this makes me want to put up a hair sign even more, because let me just say, again, the point of this video is not to sow fear in you guys, it's to say, if we vote in November, if we approach this election a little bit differently, like everything is on the line, we can take our country back and we can win. Zukowski's threat even prompted Portage County Commissioner Tony Badalamenti to resign from the Republican Central Committee. Wow. Quote, lying, mistrust, and bullying. Misleading people are against my beliefs. Badalamenti said in the video posted to Facebook after the committee refused to condemn Zukowski's comments. To me, the damage was this group of folks to me, the damage which this group of folks have done to the Republican Party is heartbreaking. So, how I'm reading this is that there is a Republican committee, and the vast majority of the people on that committee would not condemn these comments which are sowing fear and advocating for violence, and this one person resigned and said that they don't like these comments. If you enjoyed this video, if you appreciate what I do and want to bring awareness to this story, make sure you leave a like, comment a blue heart, hit that subscribe button, and have a great rest of your day. See you.